And now for your viewing and listening pleasure, the talk of the town, the one, the only scrapbooker you've been waiting for, the lady who's always ready to give more, Terry Rice. Let's hear it for my announcer. He says it's the only fun he gets to have. <laughs> Okay, today I am scrapbooking my granddaughter, the second grand. This is Tegan, and um, I am using Lavender Farm by Mente. It, I've pulled out these pictures of her, and it's like I've had them for the longest time, and it's like I just need to scrapbook them. I think they're, I think they're um, from right around, I don't know, were they pre-COVID or during COVID? I don't know. But, um... So anyhow, I've, I've got the picture. It looks like it's fall. She's in a sweater. And you can see the trees are kind of losing their leaves. I am using this paper. This is from the 6x8. And I'm going to put it on there first. You know, I've been into the colored mats. Or, you know, one of the decorative papers. And then there was this paper... Um, it was like a watercolor scene, and I don't see myself using that, especially three pieces of it. So I am using that to layer it again because I like the, um, I just like the more layers, and I like that color, that extra green behind it and everything. So I'm going to do that. And somehow I managed to not um, cut the pictures the same. I don't know why. I think I cut right on the line. Now, is that the right one? Because I know one of them I cut wider than the other. Okay, I guess that's the right one. It looks a little wide, but I think it's fine. usually kind of figure like um, an eighth and then oh I do have the data from March of 2021 can you write down that Howard March 2001 yep because you know I have a habit of writing it on the back and then never looking at it again <laughs> So I've got them both on a piece of that where it's got the, the watercolor city on there. Okay, and so I've got her all layered up. And then I have these three papers where they look like letters. So I'm going to use them. And you know what? I have this one upside down. <laughs> So I am going to layer this one over top of this one. And so I am actually going to cut off part of it so I don't have to use it all. So, wow, my scissors are stiff. So I'm going to do this because I can always use it for something else. And this is the same paper. So you can see I like that a lot. So I have to use it twice. Okay, now I've got to figure out how I got it in here. Okay, so I want it quite a bit of it showing actually. I just love all these colors with her outfit. Well, of course, she's got on lavender. And then I'm going to take this one and put it like this. So actually quite a bit of this. And this is actually the um, wood grain that I'm using behind her. So I actually don't have too much of that showing. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that off. I'll tell you, there are people that um, are so creative at, um, you know, trimming these layers off and I'm not one of them, but <laughs> I would like to keep some of these. So I'm gonna 
try it. Okay, so I want that tucked in here, and like that. Well, that's probably a little more than what I wanted, but okay, probably about like that. Okay, and then I'm just gonna stick that right over top of that. Because I don't want the whole entire scene, but you know, it's a good start. And I'm just gonna put this, Guess where I want my layers here. Because I know I have them quite close to the bottom. And let's see, I kind of want, um, so her pictures end up in the middle. So before I push it down real good, I'm gonna find my invisible ruler. And what did I do with that? Oh, here it is. Okay, so I kind of want her kind of in the center if I have her maybe about here. And I want her over here in the, on the green, or the turquoise, I guess. It's kind of like a soft teal. Okay, so if I have her there, I've got her about two and a quarter and about two and a quarter there. So right around there will be a good place to have her. So I'm gonna go ahead and push that down. And I kinda had her a little more tilted probably than what I'll actually have her. So let me see, I'll kind of put this here. So now she's almost three. Let me just push her over a little bit more. Still want her all on that paper, on her letter. And so she's about two and a half, and if I do about or two and two and three quarters. So if I kind of figure that over here. Ah, I'm looking at where I'm putting it rather than that the, she's upside down. <laughs> That'd be good. Okay, so I think about right there. I think that should be all right. I am going to put this little vase here, so just as long as it's not covering her up. Okay, so that's good. Okay, so then I have this um, lavender bouquet, and I'm gonna, I don't know how it was on the, the paper when I cut it out, but I'm actually gonna put it upside down because like it's hanging to dry. And then I'm going to put this twine around it. I'm just going to cut off a piece of that. And I've got my, I've got so many dimensionals and I'm out of the big ones so it's like I'm just using tons of little ones so <laughs> let's see if I can tie that in a bow. So um, it's like I wanted to not have to pull them all off during the filming or videoing, whatever we call it nowadays, <laughs> what do you call it? <laughs> I guess we're doing a video. Okay, now let's see if I can still tie a bow that tiny. I used to make these little pom-pom teddy bears and I used to make, put the tiniest bows on them. Okay, I think we're going to have to use tweezers to grab that. If I can. Grab it without pulling my nail off or something which would be pretty painful because <laughs> they're just my nails. <laughs> okay. Okay, just pull it in a little bit more until I get it the right size. My husband said, so why are you putting that on there? I says just to pretty it up. 
I said and add dimension because we like all those all that dimension that every little thing that we do adds and he must have been good at that because he didn't ask again <laughs> or I didn't hear what <laughs> And I'm not sure where I got that, but it's it's a pretty shade of purple. And I like the little bit of darker, like in the here. Okay. And it kept me from having to use that um, stuff that I had, that I used yesterday, because boy, that was annoying. <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna put it here like it's just hanging here to dry. I think that should be good. I kinda wanna make sure it's up and down like it would really hang. Okay, and then I have this little hat, so I'm gonna put it over here. You know how I kind of layer a lot of the things similar. I love that hat there, so I'm gonna put it back here again. And I'm gonna raise it up just a little bit. You'll be able to see the little bit of it underneath there because I do not have the butterfly going in the right direction. So I am going to, oops, so put my little tray of backgrounds over here or my little tray of the dimensional backs okay and then I fold it a little bit so it's so I can glue down the body and then the wings will be up and you'll be able to see this butterfly and if it ends up bothering me too much I'll Cut a flower and stick it right in there. <laughs> so I figure I'm just gonna leave it there for now and see how if it I feel like it's something that's gonna bother me. So I think it's okay. We'll see how it goes. And then um, this pot right here, this is the same one but it's bigger. And I'm just gonna put that right over top of it because it'll give this side a little more dimension. And right now it's going to go right over her picture. And then um, I've got this cart here and I would like not to see all of that. So I am going to add oh, that little, I'm going to glue those little pieces down since it looks like they want to just take off on her own. And it's just the stems of the lavender. Maybe I'll put it a little here too. Because these, um, this one I'm going to leave flat. I'm going to be layering over it. So I'm just going to kind of tuck this in here, or not really tuck it, just lay it over top of that. So you're not really seeing all of the cart because I'm going to kind of camouflage that. And then I have this lavender. It's like a, looks like a, I don't know, a tin that they might have that they might sell it in their store in the tin but it's just a pretty piece it's got a butterfly in it too so I'm gonna put it over this one this one's much bigger so it's gonna cover up a lot more so I'm gonna put that there and I'm it's probably pushed down pretty good but I'm gonna try not to push it down just in case I want any of this kind of tucked underneath it so I'm going to put this purple bottle over here so it's kind of covering up the whole wheel. And it doesn't have to cover it all. Like I'm going to push it back a little bit so it's not down at the very bottom of the page. And then I have this little sachet. Is that what they call those? Those little bags of herbs. Like you'd put in your, under your pillow to have good dreams or something. And I'm gonna stick that right over top of that wheel. And so it's gonna come down a little bit more than that bottle. So that's good there. And let's see my other things, okay. So then I have this pile of books and I'm gonna put that right in front of that. 
but I want to put this down first so I'm putting this right where I think it needs to be and then I'm going to put down this bottle so you can see how I keep building on the seam that's already there because I know um, I've had people say that they're afraid to cut into their minte papers or you know they're just hoarding them it's like I, I love them I don't want to hoard them well maybe I'd like to hoard them but <laughs> I'd rather just see them in my scrapbook, so I'm going with that. <laughs> I just need to see them in my scrapbook. And now um, I've got this up on dimensionals, and I've got this half up on dimensionals, and they're the dimensionals that are a little thicker than these. These are the low profile. So I'm trying to help um, you ladies that are afraid to um, cut into those those minte papers because they're too pretty just sit on the shelf okay so I'm gonna stick that here so it's out in front a little bit and I'm pulling it down a little lower than what this bottle is you see it's maybe three-eighths of an inch or so and now I'm gonna put oh, my little tray that gets all the little stuff in it Some of these I already had pulled off, so I wouldn't have to do it during, but I didn't get them all done, I guess. I think I kept adding things, okay. So I'm just putting this here at the bottom. So it's gonna overlap this a little bit. And so I can put some glue right here, or I might be able to stick another um, thinner, one of the thinner ones underneath there. Where's my tweezers? So lots of times I'll just add like this and it looks like I'll need one right there too and it's like I kind of had stuck this um, you know I had used this for my collection obsession and then you know I stuck it back in there but I knew I'd pulled out again one day and I thought oh I haven't done this yet and so many colors I'd put next to it and it just kind of washed it out but these colors the purples um, dark enough it looks really good okay and then I have one more butterfly and I'm gonna stick that right down here so it looks like it landed by her photo And then I'm going to title it Beauty and Bloom. And these are those um, Hobby Lobby letters. And then these are the um, Heidi Swap. And you know how I told you how much I love those now. So I'm going to stick this, I think, like this. Let me see a little bit. Maybe like this kind of see it like this with a little so it's going to be beauty and bloom so I'm thinking that's good or I could do maybe this okay I'm going to pause it and put that down and I'll be right back okay so I have that on there so I did put the beauty here and then I decided whoops I can see this straight or crooked <laughs> it's not straight um, I took and put the Y down past this L so I, I like how that kind of um, the words tucked in together and then I put the N right here and I'm going to use some of these enamel dots that are kind of the color they look like the darker color of the letter in the hat so I'm going to use that and I'm going to kind of stick three here and there and what was that noise? Something vibrating in the And let's see, I, I was going to use one of the bigger ones, but I think I'm going to use the medium and the small. Let's 
stick one maybe here because I'm kind of using this like it's two different places but you know they really kind of run on together and another small one over here and maybe right now if I can get rid of it <laughs> it will not stick to me okay and I did glue these down before I put down the letters and then I'm gonna put a couple up in this cluster here I don't want to cover up the little bumblebee here because I like seeing all the little nature things and maybe I'll stick a couple over here in this little grouping too so because I've got more than the typical triangle going on today. So I think that's pretty good. And I love how it turns out. It's so funny because it's like I've just put it off and put it off doing this, these photos and I just love this collection with it. And I love this collection. I wish I would have bought two of them. <laughs> it's just so pretty. So thanks for joining me and I hope you dig out your mintes today and play with them and if i've inspired you to dig out your mintes let me know down below and i'll have close-ups at the end and see you tomorrow bye bye